So in this video, I wanna share with you the two powerful techniques for transformation, which are about power. Once we've cleared the decks of our clients' negative feelings, limiting beliefs, then we can move into what I call programming, and that's what this video is about. Our ability to get our clients to believe in themselves more. Now, this is not about making them into something new. This is about aligning them with who would they have been if they'd always been supported? Who would they have been if they'd always been believed in? If they'd been brought up by like enlightened beings, if they'd gone to the, like been taught by amazing inspirational teachers that looked after their whole well-being and taught them all sorts of life lessons and empowered them and you know, and they've been protected from all trauma and all disappointment, you know? It's like, how do we reboot that? Who are we on the inside? And so the, f the first technique is around mind programming, visualization, but I use that term as an umbrella for essentially programming tools. And so it's really important in the therapeutic process that we're not leading our clients and that we're not dictating to them um, how to think and how to feel, but based on what your client wants and who they really are and what you've worked out, who they are, then supporting your clients to understand how to think differently so they feel differently and behave differently. We have inside ourselves extraordinary amounts of potential. And our beliefs about who we are, how we speak about ourselves, how we speak about life, completely filter our reality and, and, our, and that what we believe is reflected back to us. So when we can actively help our clients reprogram how they're thinking, what they're expecting, then they see incredible change. And so these are vital skills. This is not the be all and end all. Some therapeutic models, that's all they do. They just do programming. But if you haven't cleared the decks, that's like the secret and the law of attraction stuff. It's like, it's powerful if you're free of all of your fear and you totally believe you're deserving. But if you're just doing that, it's not enough. So this programming stuff has to sit on the foundation of having really cleared the decks of all the negative stuff. But then it's about once your clients are in that deeply meditative state, you're able to get them to create pictures of the world. And so within the scripts you've got, there are scripts there to enable your clients to be more confident and powerful. So these are good programming scripts. I'm giving you some examples of them. And you can use those almost immediately with your clients and you'll notice how much better they feel. And these can give your clients a lift for a couple of days, but these can also prepare your clients for dates or presentations. But you're also teaching your clients these techniques so they know how to use them for themselves. And so the core principles in these scripts is about using the senses to build up our sensation. When we are in an experience, we're hearing things, we're seeing things, we're feeling sensation on our skin, there's a certain temperature, there's smells in the air, there's, there's tastes associated with a space. And so when you're getting your clients to visualize, you want to bring in as many of the senses as possible. And you're trying to build up a sense of reality. And so if you had someone, for example, that was nervous in interviews, the human mind can't tell the difference between real and imagined. And so if you get them to mentally rehearse and visualize very deeply, seeing with all of the senses enriched in the experience, interviews going well, numbers of interviews. If they've had 10 interviews that went really well, they'd expect the 11th to go well. Those first 10 can be internally visualized. It sounds simplistic, but when you use these techniques, they massively accelerate the therapeutic process. And so getting your clients to create a picture in their mind and body. But it's really important for them not to focus on the details. You have to be careful what you wish for in this life. You don't want them focusing on what does it look like? What are the mechanics of what I'm doing? It's better to get them to visualize the end result. And so for me, if a client's got a presentation, I get them to see themselves walking confidently on stage, but then I focus mainly on how did it feel at the end? What's the visualization of the end result where everyone's clapping? What's the feeling in their body that they know they smashed it? What are people saying to them? And so you build that up, but then as that's peaking, and ideally they're feeling really good, and I use music in my work to make it even more powerful and emotional. Then you bring in empowered language patterns, and this is the absolute key. 
And this is part of the alignment technology. So people have to be aligned. They have to have language patterns which are aligned. They have to have beliefs which are aligned. They have to have action lists that are aligned. And so often, the words that people use to describe themselves or their condition are holding them back. No one should talk about themselves in the way that so many clients do. We should never reflect a label back. Even if you believe in labels and they're sometimes useful, never say that to your client. Never use the word depressed or anxious or don't ever give them that label back. They might be operating with it. You might be using it as an umbrella term. But it's like, I mean, this is so true in so many cases. As people that don't sleep well, it's how they talk about how they sleep. It's a huge part of the problem. Are there physiological things? Are there psychological things? Yes. But is how they're speaking about it making it worse? All the time. So understanding how to create empowered language patterns for your clients is vital therapeutically so that they can say words that are focusing on what they want to be improved. So that someone's saying each and every day, I'm enjoying being more and more confident. Are you saying they're confident? There are some affirmations out there which tell people like, I am confident. Do not tell your clients to say that because if they're not confident, if they say that, they will not believe it and it will just confirm the lack. We can't lie to ourselves. But is someone on a scale of confidence? Yes, they can't be completely devoid of confidence. Everyone is on a, on a scale, a continuum of some degree of confidence. It might be very, very, very low, but there is still some. So is it possible that they could affirm to themselves each and every day, I am enjoying more and more confidence, or each and every day I'm enjoying eating the right amounts of the right kind of food? Is it possible they could acknowledge their ability to have more freedom, to be more willing to love? All of these things are in them and they could be expanded and increased. And so learning how to create these language patterns that affirm the change, they're positive focused, and they're based in a belief that our clients can be free. This is so vital. So as your client is visualizing, you then bring in these alignment principles. And within that, then you get them to think about what are the actions they need to take? What are the actions they need to take? And in that deep state, you get them to think about what do I need to do to be this person? If this is who I could be. You're getting them into essentially a flow state where they're believing they've got everything they need within them to do whatever they need to do. And in that place, they're resourced. And their soul, their heart, their higher self knows. And when you do that, they will then come out with their to-do list, an empowered to-do list, where you get tend to make action points and action lists. And it's so much there, so many therapeutic methodologies don't include an accountability structure on taking action. And so our job, our role is to help people recognize what do I need to do to live differently? How can I speak about that in a way where it will actually happen? And, um, and, and, and what actually is that? And so in that state, you're getting them to align. Who would they be? How does it feel? What does it look like? What are the language patterns they would use? And to get them to experience themselves in that state powerfully. Again, I use pretty powerful music and in that state they know what to do and they're empowered and inspired to do it. It's by engaging their heart and their soul and their unconscious in that way in those moments. That's what makes transformation possible. That's when they feel powerful. That's when they get into flow and that's when they realize they are the perfect person at the perfect time to do the perfect thing in the perfect way. And if they can walk around with that belief then their life begins to move again in all sorts of interesting ways. You can't do that stuff if you haven't cleared the decks. But once you have, then that stuff is so beautiful and they are flying and it's the most satisfying work. So I'm really excited to have shared the principles behind the scripts that you got. Use them, enjoy them, incorporate music into your work. It is so powerful. Get your clients to use playlists to get themselves fired up. And um, I'm really excited in the next video to share with you the really deep work around purpose and the more spiritual work of transcendence and surrender, which I believe are essentials for people to really have an enriched and meaningful relationship with life.